Process Costing Process accounting is a security method in which an administrator may keep track of system resources used, the allocation among users, provide for system monitoring, and minimally track a user's command. This indeed has its own positive and negative points. One of the positive is that an intuition may be narrowed down to the point of entry. A negative is that the amount of logs generated by process accounting and the disk space they may require. In this lesson, we will discuss the concept and processes related to process costing. It follows from the previous slide that after studying this lesson, you should be able to understand the process costing, describe the difference between job costing and process costing, discuss in detail what is joint product and byproduct. Process costing method is applicable where the output results from a continuous process and products are identical and cannot be segregated. The features of the process costing are the output consists of products which are homogeneous. Production takes place continually and all units are identical during each process. The output of a process may also be saleable in which case the process may generate some profit. The input of a process may be capable of being acquired from the outside source. The output of one process is used as an input of the second process. The main elements of process costing are material, labor. In the system of process costing, the materials, whatever taken for consumption, are to produce finished goods at the end of final stage of the process, but not during the first stage of the process of manufacturing. Direct labor is subject to technology of the production process. If the production process is labor intensive, then the application of labor will be more than the capital goods. That is plant and machinery, which increases the time duration normally consumed by the laborers during the process rather than the later and vice versa. Direct expenses are directly connected and attributable to each process should be debited under each process account most specifically incurred in addition to the materials and labor. Overhead expenses are normally incurred by the firm by and large in heavy volume, not only connected and attributable to one process but also with many processes, should appropriately apportioned to various processes of the production. There are certain processes which normally yield two or more products of equal importance known as joint products. Joint products thus represent joint products are defined as follows. Two or more products separated in the course of same processing operation usually requiring further processing. Each product being in such proportion that no single product can be designated as a major product. The cost of the joint products are determined by the way of apportioning the cost of production at the point of separation. The process of accounting as well as the determination of profit or loss of every joint product is very difficult to determine due to lack of distinctiveness. Average unit cost method is the simplest method to adopt and apply in determining the cost of joint products. Under this method, the cost per unit of the joint products will be nothing uniform. Why? The reason is that the process is common for all products, which cannot be separated for one single product. In such cases, the cost of the unit will also be the same. Under this method, pricing is done uniformly for all products irrespective of the grades or qualities at which they are produced. Under physical unit method, a physical base such as raw materials, volume, weight, measures are considered for the apportionment of pre-separation joint costs to the joint products in order to know the cost of joint products. Under survey method, all the important factors such as volume, selling price, technical side which affects the costs are ascertained by means of extensive survey. Point of values are given to the individual products for apportionment of joint cost before separation. These ratios are subject to production and sales. Under contribution or gross margin method, 
the marginal cost of the joint products are apportioned on the basis of weight or quantity of the product. The next component of joint products is fixed cost, which is normally apportioned on the basis of marginal contribution of the products. This method is most useful to take managerial decisions in maximizing the profit of the business organization through the identification of righteous mix. Under market value method, the joint costs are apportioned to the tune of relative values which are found to be most suitable and convenient method. The joint products are split in the ratio of selling price of individual products. Byproducts are the products that are obtained in addition to the main products from the same process. The products which are nothing but the secondary products are bearing saleability or usability in addition to the main products is known as byproducts. Byproducts are classified into two categories, that is, the products which are sold as they are manufactured along with the main products and the products which may require further processing. Accounting of byproducts is broadly classified into two major categories, non-cost methods and cost methods. Non-cost methods never attempt to cost the byproducts or its inventory. Various non-cost methods are other income or miscellaneous income method, byproduct sales added to the main product sales, byproduct value deducted from the total cost, credit of sales value less selling and distribution cost, credit of sales less selling and distribution expenses as well as the cost after the joint cost separation. Cost methods attempt to apportion some of the joint costs to byproducts. Various cost methods are opportunity or replacement cost method, standard cost method, and apportionment on suitable basis. Now let us check if we have understood the various concepts discussed in this lesson clearly. Normal loss is a loss incurred which has been already anticipated. Right or wrong? Right. Normal gain is gain in terms of output during the process which is unexpected. Right or wrong? Wrong. Cost of the process is the accumulation of cost of incurrence of various processes during the manufacturing of a desired output. Right or wrong? Right. Before we end, let us briefly revise what we have studied till so far. The certain products are manufactured through many stages called process, which require to determine the cost of each process of the goods transferred to subsequent processes in order to price effectively, which is called transfer pricing. The process costing facilitates to identify the normal loss or abnormal loss and abnormal gain in terms of units as well as to determine the monetary loss or gain out of the various stages. In some processes, the organization may yield some joint products along with the main products which are saleable value facilitates to bring down the total cost of production by realizing the joint products. In addition to the joint products, byproducts are obtained as secondary source which have less saleable value than the main products at the moment of manufacturing.